dissecting a job description. That's next on the RecTech Podcast. Welcome to RecTech, the podcast where recruiting and technology intersect. Each month, you'll hear from vendors shaping the recruiting world, along with recruiters who'll tell you how they use technology to hire talent. Now, here's your host, the mad scientist of online recruiting, Chris Russell. Now that's right, it's time for RecTech, the only podcast that helps employers and recruiters connect with more candidates through technology-inspired conversations. If you listen, you hear both recruiters and HR tech vendors talk about how they use technology to find talent. But first, as always, this episode of RecTech is sponsored by our friends at Job Fairing, the Job Fair search engine. Is your company hosting a hiring event or job fair soon? Well, Job Fairing will help you promote that event to a local audience in your city for 10, 20, or 30 days at a clip. So many your event is free, but to also help you advertise it in channels like Facebook, which are so important in attracting that local audience if you choose to feature on the site for those different types of uh, uh, time segments. It pays to advertise, so to ensure your hiring event is well attended, head over to jobfairing.com, it's jobfairing.com, and get it listed. Now on to the show. Hey listeners, it's me, Chris Russell here for a solo podcast today uh, with the Thanksgiving holiday this week. I didn't have time to get a guest schedule for you at the end of the month, but wanted to do a show anyway and had the idea of talking about uh, good job descriptions and kind of what makes them tick. Uh, I've been on a kick, you know, this past year. Uh, as you know, a job description is really a job advertisement that should sell the role and the opportunity in the company. It should attract talents, not lead them out. And in my travels as a consultant, I just see way too many job, bad job postings out there that do nothing to attract the right candidates. So with that said, I've been collecting kind of what I think are good to great job listings online that caught my eye, that stand out as a quality job advertisement. And uh, every now and then I'm gonna read some of these to you uh, and break down why they're such a good, a good uh, job posting themselves. I may end up creating uh, an ebook around this, maybe even a course uh, in 2018. So we'll see what happens there. But uh, let's take a look at uh, this particular one from a company called Meetup. You know, meetup.com, the, uh, the offline uh, event search engine, if you will. Uh, they're looking for a product manager for member engagement. And I printed out this listing, which I'm gonna read to you. It's kind of broken up into two sections, uh, four paragraphs, fairly short, and then a couple sections uh, with some bullet points. It's all on one page. Um, uh, I think it's a pretty good job description. I wouldn't call it great. Maybe you might, who knows, after I read it. But let's take a look at how they describe this opportunity and um, how they sell the job to the candidate overall. So here goes. Meetup is looking for a product leader to oversee member management for the world's largest network of local communities. We want someone who will come in with experience building great products that have a big impact. We are a 14-year-old company with 20 million passionate members and organizers across 180 countries. While Meetup was born in the desktop era, our future is mobile. In 2016, we rebranded and shipped completely new apps, and our management team continued to evolve into a diverse, future-facing team. Let me stop there for a second. So that's a uh, great uh, way of talking about your company in terms of who you are, what you do, and where you're going, right? And in, that, in those couple of sentences, they also link out to some articles about how the company is rebranding themselves, about how they're shipping new apps, and uh, how their management team is evolving into, into a diverse future-facing team, right? So they link out to some external articles uh, that the candidate can go and read uh, and get a better idea of what's happening internally within the company, which I think is interesting, right? If you can kind of point to third-party uh, news organizations or blogs or other places that you're being talked about in a positive way, of course, um, that's a great opportunity for the candidate to go and learn more about you. And I would encourage more of you to do some of that stuff inside of your job posting, is link out to external news articles and things like that. Uh, I thought that was really, really great uh, that Meetup did that. It goes on to say, we're looking for a product manager to help continue this reinvent reinvention so that hundreds of millions of people can experience the power and joy that come from real, local, face-to-face -face community. That sentence right there kind of shows the impact of the job, which I think is important to 
to tell the candidate, right? So who, who, whoever is going to apply for this is going to have a big impact uh, at the company itself. As one of two product managers on the member engagement team, your focus will be shaping meetups, apps, website, email, and push notifications to continuously demonstrate the value of meetup to our members. You'll ship experiments and solutions that make the product stickier and drive member retention. You'll help realize the future in which the meetup platform plays a smaller role and instead enables people to connect with, connect with and engage each other directly. Again, a simple, easy to understand synopsis of the job itself in terms of uh, what you're going to be doing it's, uh, in the role. Then it goes on to uh, kind of break down bullet points. So as the product manager at Meetup, you will refine, sequence, and prioritize and execute your, products, your product team's roadmap. Generate ambitious and well-designed product ideas based on member needs and strategic objectives, and then drive product through the entire development cycle. Articulate and validate key product assumptions through research, user testing, and live testing. Set and track key performance metrics. Drive continuous improvements through rigorous analysis and optimization. Represent the team to senior leadership and company at large by sharing plans, goals, and resources. And then it ends with, you're our ideal teammate if you want to help change a company and position one of the internet's great brands for explosive growth. You have at least four years of experience in a product manager role at a tech company. You're obsessed with measuring the impact of everything you ship. You collaborate successfully with designers and engineers. You think strategically, but also love to get your hands dirty. You have contributed to iOS and Android apps before. You're up on all the latest trends in mobile, and you have a strong instinctual sense of where things are going so that you can ensure Meetup's continuing success in the future. Lastly, you come up with simple solutions to complex problems. And then there's the apply for this job link. So there's no list of requirements. I think I counted about 14 uh, yous or yours or you'll uh, in the posting. So they're really talking to the candidate directly with words like that. Uh, and I want to encourage you to do more of the same. You know, use that word you a lot um, because you can really speak to the candidate on a one-on-one -on -one basis and, and help describe, you know, let them picture themselves in the role through words like that, I think, is what they're doing here. So I'll, I'll post a link to this on the uh, show notes on rectechmedia.com so you can go and, and look at it. I'll also post the text of it as well as I want to capture this for uh, before it disappears. But um, uh, go, I, you know, I encourage you to go out there and look at your own job listings, kind of look at how you can rewrite them uh, in, in a, with a kind of format like that. Um, you can copy other people, you know. I, I think you, there's no uh, rules against that. Just make it your own and sell the job, sell the opportunity, sell people why they should come work for your company, and your job listings will attract better qualified candidates overall. All right, well, that will do for this edition of the RecTech Podcast. Again, find the audio links to the show at rectechmedia.com. Thanks again to our sponsor. Remember to check out Job Fairing for your next hiring event. And you can subscribe to the show via iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, and Stitcher Radio. Hey, if you like the show, please consider leaving a review on your channel of choice. I'd love to see your feedback or mention us on social media with the hashtag RecTech. You can follow me on Twitter at Chris Russell. Just a reminder, I'm a consultant. It helps both HR tech firms and employers to get more candidates or clients, so check me out. In December, I'll be interviewing a couple of TA leaders, Scott Sherman of Sodexo and Graham Piankowski, as well as the CEO of Canvas, a new text recruiting tool. So check that out in December. I'll see you soon, and thanks for listening.